Crossroads Media. They just came home from going out west. It was a disaster in San Fran. It was a disaster in Colorado. It was not a disaster in Citizens Bank Park, even though we're recording on a night where I had to stay up later because it's a Sunday night baseball game and it goes to extra innings. And I'm like, please, why is this taking three plus hours? All right. Normally, my Sundays, they play at one o'clock. So when I do a series recap or whatever it is, I'm done by 5 o'clock, and I get to kick it, relax, watch sports at the end of my night, get a good night's sleep. So from that angle, I'm not very happy. It doesn't make me happy either that I have to watch Taiwan Walker leave pitches over the heart of the plate all night long. When guys are consistently plowing 100 mile per hour exit velocity cuts non-stop including a home run that's 105 miles per hour off the bat that's getting scorched the Taiwan Walker experience is not working I was okay with giving him a chance because well he's been around Major League Baseball for quite some time He was signed here to a big deal for a reason. Dave Dombrowski is not a joke of a human being in regards to bringing people in. Now, he swung and missed on Taiwan Walker, but prior to seeing what this year was going to look like, I'm okay with giving him a chance. Now there's enough information to know that that splitter ain't split. It's over the heart of the plate non-stop when the opponent is smashing 500 against a certain pitch you don't have it and I don't know if he's on uh, ever gonna get comfortable enough to have it I'm sure it doesn't help when 44,000 are chanting we want turbo every single time you lose a batter You walk somebody, and that's on him. I mean, he hasn't pitched well enough, and every time the Phillies fight back after he digs the team into a hole, and whether St. Louis had errors or not, the Phillies were able to pounce and tie the baseball game back up. You go down 2-0, it's 2-2. You go down 4-2, it's 4-4. So your team had their back. But man, every time they do, you give it right back. They just tie it up. You give it right back with the piss missile to right field. A no doubter. Not good enough. And the way Spencer Turnbull pitched on Saturday night after Ranger Suarez with the comebacker again. This guy, I don't know if he's in the middle of a Final Destination movie because he escaped death not too long ago with an outrageous get out of the way. And then the ball goes through the middle. Oh, no, here's a great flash of the leather. He gets good defense behind him. Ridiculous. And by the way, Bryson stopped defensively. This series was mind-blowing. Over at second, over at short. You plug him anywhere. He's going to exceed or succeed, excel. Combine two things. He's that good. He could do both. He excels, he succeeds at the same times. He, he exceeds. Ridiculous, that glove. But Ranger can't get away from this one. Luckily, it seems like he's in good spirits. All right, doesn't seem like Rob Thompson's hitting any of the panic. But there's no doubt this team's starting to get banged up. Cody Clemens was supposed to play Sunday night baseball. He doesn't because he has back spasms. Brandon Marsh, on his original hit, before he went to second and pulled what looked like his hamstring and called for the trainer right away and pointed right at that dugout, Before that, he had that single, and it looked like he did one of those pull-ups before doing a handshake with the first base coach. So I have no update on that. We'll continue to monitor the situation. But it's just crazy. 
Just absolutely crazy. What did I want to bring up about that Saturday? Oh, Turnbull. He had three innings pitched, six strikeouts. Guy was great. He's had some lows lately. But when he had a chance to go a couple of innings after Ranger has to leave the game, which ridiculous that they're able to still get that dub. You're out of whack. You're out of sync. The ballpark was on fire. People are expecting a Ranger gem. Instead, you get the Spencer Turnbull gem. And if Taiwan Walker can't handle that pressure that one of his teammates are breathing down his neck, then shame on you. But five innings, four earned runs, a high pitch count. And realistically, I saw a bunch of pitches that St. Louis probably should have been able to do more with. But I'm sick and tired of the doubles in the gap, the ball exploding off the bat. He's getting hit way too hard. There's enough of a sample size now to know that it's not working. Okay with the chance, but once you absorb the information when the player is given said chance, you have to then have a counter move or a counter punch as an organization. And Christopher Sanchez deserves all his time in the world. I guess we have to see where Ranger is and how that goes. But regardless, even if he does miss some time, even though it doesn't seem like it's crazy that he will, although there was some swelling. But seriously, he was joking around with the media afterwards that game. Apparently, he was climbing underneath the tables and whatever. I I don't know. So, I'm just saying, if if you knew you were in way more pain, I doubt you're chucking around laughs with the media members. You're probably pretty bummed out. But I'm just saying, okay, if a starter has to miss time, I understand Taiwan Walker getting a, another start. And it sucks because he's lined up the pitch in London. I got to wake up and, and watch these games. But one of them's at 1, one of them's at 10 a.m. But it's a big game. It's on a national broadcast. And I got to watch Taiwan Walker. It has to change. I'm sorry, it has to change. It's a shame because this shouldn't be the topic today. The topic should be awesome series win. The Taiwan Walker problem is real. The the Taiwan Walker problem is real. And a lot of it is is also vibes, believe it or not. It's just every time he takes them out, I got to imagine it's deflating. As much as Bryson Stodd is rooting on his teammates when he's on the bum. Yeah, Ty, here we go. Ty, nice pitch. Ty, nice strikeout. Ty. Come on, man. This is the same dude that disrespected the guy that everybody loves more than Jesus Christ himself. They love Rob Thompson more than life. And Taiwan Walker has disrespected him publicly heavily. And, uh, you know, he hasn't really given Rob Thompson his his back. Like, you would think that for Rob to handle it the way Rob handled it, eh, not a big deal. I spoke to Taiwan. We're good. And when the Phillies first started their spring training and started to go down to Florida and their Twitter team would post pictures, the first picture they posted was Rob and Taiwan both smiling and cheesing on the mound. And that's not by accident. So here's Rob constantly throwing Taiwan out there. You would think Taiwan would have Rob Thompson's back for the road he took through that very uncomfortable exchange of not playing in the postseason, of ripping the manager publicly, ripping the manager by liking people's tweets saying, yo, where's Taiwan? You gotta have the manager's back for constantly putting you on the bump, and you are getting demolished. I haven't seen so many consistent pitches left over the heart of the plate the way Taiwan Walker is leaving it over the heart of the plate. It truly does look like batting practice. And if it looks like batting practice, when you have another reasonable option, sometimes you don't. Like this idea out in right field, as much as there are some players to play more Pache, Whit Merrifield could play in the outfield, I get annoyed by Nick sometimes. But I truly don't know if there's that many seriously fantastic options behind Nick Castellanos out there. I get the ceiling is super high when he starts to rake, and that's better than Pache or better than Whit Merrifield who can't do anything right. So I'm just saying, I don't see a no-brainer. 
there is somewhat of a no-brainer now that you have the info on how bad Taiwan Walker is. Spencer Turnbull was throwing lights out. And the innings pitched was always an issue for me because it's not as if Spencer Turnbull has a track record of throwing a ton of innings. But at some points, if you are going to let him maximize himself or at least try, I think you got to give him that chance to do so. Just like I thought it was okay to give Taiwan Walker a chance, now it's time to give Spencer Turnbull another chance. I'm just a chance giver. I think people deserve opportunities, especially when they earn it. Spencer Turnbull has earned it at this point as much as Taiwan Walker lost it. It was Taiwan Walker's job to lose. He ended up losing it. Now, there has to be a domino effect from that. Someone else gets a chance. 